What we like about the HP Prime Calculator is that we can add our own functions, such as the loan function, to figure out what payments are, or the loan function to be given a specific payment and figure out what the present value of money is that we can buy. We can see that when we work formulas, we can put in complex formula. This formula has to do with an IRA. We can also add a formula that has to do with the pivot element of a simplex um, and work out um, rows of and columns of answers. These calculations involve fractions and negative signs and humans can hardly go through these calculations without making errors where our calculator can easily work these calculations. What we do with the Prime Academy Learning Center is start with the HP Prime generalities, settings, and examples. Move to the algebra, real numbers, operations and properties, integer exponents, radicals and rational exponents and take a look at their particular screens and after we get through with those screens we go to our finite math screens and add the functions for lines finance and the dual problems that we have shown here in our calculator what is really great is this ability to add functions such as the loan is available on the light free calculator. So let's get started with the example page so we can learn how to use our calculator. Remember in our Prime Academy Learning Center tutorials, we use blue when the name requires the shift key, orange when the name requires the alpha key, and black when we're talking about these keys, or we're talking about the black keys with white um, names, or we're talking about the soft keys. Let's get started by looking at the upper left screen. The upper left screen has us doing calculations that are very simple on our calculator. Place value and precedent rules. Let's go over to our calculator and do these uh, calculations here. So the first thing we're going to do, we're in the cast mode. We're going to eventually want to work from the cast mode. So we're going to clear out the cast mode. Clear keys right here. So we're going to shift and clear to clear out the cast mode. Then we're going to switch to the home mode. Now we do not have cast written up here anymore because we're in the home mode. We want to do the first calculation we have three times 10 plus 2 times 1, enter, and we get 32. Then we want to do the next calculation, which is 5 times 100 plus 6 times 10 plus 8 times 1. The rest of the calculations we will do in a second. Again, we're starting with something very simple that we really wouldn't use a calculator for, but to get used to using our calculator. We moved ahead and added the rest of the values. We select the cast screen. We will press our menu item and we come up with the string that says get from home. We press OK. It lists the various values. We want to highlight the very first one so we can move up with our arrow. Since we're using the emulator, we can also just click on that particular one uh, there. So we have it highlighted and then we press enter and then we to transfer it to our edit line press enter and we end up with our value in the calculator. Let's go ahead and finish copying them all over. Skipping ahead, we end up with the following screen. Next, we go to figure two. Figure 2 has us entering Boolean expressions into our calculator. 
when the answer is true, it gives, a, gives us a one. When the answer is false, it gives us a zero. Here we're demonstrating the associative property. It allows us to do two entries into our calculator by using the brackets or matrix operation. Again, it shows us that the community property works for addition. Here we see how subtraction and addition are related and both things are true. And here we show that the commutative property doesn't work um, for subtraction. We will enter these into our calculator in a minute. Here we show us entering these calculations into our calculator. So we will um, move, we will first clear out this window. So we'll press shift and then we'll press clear. So we have the CAS window cleared out. We will go to the home window. We will clear out this window. So we'll press shift and clear. We will now want to type the calculations. So we type one equal sign is down here. So we'll use the shift and the equal and then the one. And then we press enter and we get that this answer is true. We say does one equal two and press enter and we see that this answer is false um, we'll skip ahead to the one where we enter two valuables so we're going to use the brackets so we just shift and brackets then we put in uh, seven plus zero equals seven seven plus zero Shift equal seven, press the comma key, then put in zero plus seven, zero plus seven equals seven, and press enter. So we end up okay with. Um, true statements for both of these true even though this is a true statement this is not what we have over in the picture on the left so what we want to do is use braces instead of using the brackets so if we hit shift and eight which will give us our braces then write seven plus zero shift equal seven comma zero plus seven equal seven and press enter we get that this particular answer is true in both cases and we see that the original expression state We'll go over another method to copy um, variables over to our set window. So if we move up and highlight the first entry as shown in the collage is um, second window and press enter, it will move it down to the command line. Switch over to CAS. It's still in the command line, it's shown here in this window. And if we press enter, we get that one is equal to one. Again, if we go over to the home screen, if we go up to the second entry, again, we'll use the um, mouse and copy that, switch over to CAS and press enter. We get the second entry transferred over to the um, CAS view. Finishing up the transfer to the CAS view, we have the following results. We can see that we are better off working with Boolean uh, logic in the home view. Here, it goes ahead and simplifies stuff for us and gives us results. The final CAS example on this page will be covered in its own video.